Well, howdy there, Internet students. It's Mr. Hermanson again. Hey, uh, today we're just going to spend another day um, writing equations. I know it's kind of hard, so um, so hopefully this will help you get a little more practice doing it. Okay, um, I'm going to do these top four with you, and then you have uh, eight problems, I believe, for you to try and do. Again, I um, gave you a grid with equations on it, so at least you have something to choose from to help make it a little easier. Um, but what you should do is finish up the problems after I'm done with the examples and then go to the Google form and hopefully you can find your equations in the grid on the Google form. Um, so the first one, Jill sold half her comic books and then she bought 16 more. She now has 36. With how many did she begin? Okay, so she So we're going to let x equal the original number of comic books. It says she sold half of them. So 1 half times x represents how many she has left, or how many she sold. It should be the same amount since it's a half. Um, and then she bought 16 more. And she now has 36. Okay. Now to solve this, remember you would, uh, you would subtract 16 from both sides. And then to do the one half part, you can you would multiply by the reciprocal because you want to divide by a half, so you would multiply by two. I'm not going to finish it up. I trust you can do that. Um, this is more about writing the equations. Okay. So on the this next problem here, it says on Tuesday Shannon bought five hats. On Wednesday, half of all the hats she had were destroyed. On Thursday, there were only 17 left. So. Um, here's what I'm thinking. Um, so on Monday, we're going to let X be how many she started with on Monday. So um, on Tuesday, she bought five more, so we're going to add five to that X. On Wednesday, half of the ones she had were destroyed, which, she had, which means she has this many left, one half of that number. Um, and then on Thursday, there were only 17 left. So this amount equals 17. Okay. Now, just to get you started on this, I think I would take care of this one half times first. So you need to divide by half, which the way you do that is you multiply by the reciprocal. So multiply both sides by this reciprocal. Um, and then the last thing you would do is subtract five from both sides. And uh, you could finish that up if you want. But remember, it's getting the equation here that I'm helping you with today. Okay. The next one says the sum of three consecutive even numbers which is 48. What is the smallest of these numbers? So even numbers are two apart, like 4, 6, and 8. All right. We're going to let x be the smallest one. Okay. So the next one after x, so like let's just pretend for a moment x is 10, some even number. Then the next one, even consecutive even number would be 12, which would be 2 more than x. And then the next one after that would be 2 more than the last number, which would be 4 more than the first number. Okay? And the sum means we're going to add all these up. And the total is 48. Okay. And then I would just simplify this. Um, 1x 3 times is the same as 3x. And then 2 plus 4, you can just make that 6. And then you can go ahead and finish that up. On the last one, it says Suma Lee won 40 super bouncy balls playing horseshoes at her school's game night. Later, she gave two to each of her friends. So she had 40 balls. She gave two to each of her friends. She had only eight remaining. This kind of sounds like a subtraction problem. So um, she started with 40. And we're going to subtract 2 for every friend. We're going to let x be the number of friends she has. Um, and she has 8 left to herself. Okay. Now, um, one thing you want to be careful of here, when you solve this, let me put a red line here. Uh, when you solve it, you um, are going to want to get rid of this 40 first, subtract 40. And when you do that, you actually get a 
negative number, but um, you also have a negative number to divide by here. And when you divide a negative by a negative, you end up with a positive answer, and the answer is 16. Um, so just a little reminder there. All right. Um, the rest of them, you're going to give it give it a shot. Um, remember, if you're struggling with um, the equation, uh, there's there is an answer grid. Um, there's probably two equations that are um, are choices for the problem from the grid. Um, so you're going to have to figure out which one works best. All right, that's all I got for you. Uh, we'll talk to you soon.